All right, so you probably don't expect one of the biggest performance sleepers in the affordable marketplace to be a compact crossover, let alone one from Korea, but Kia has been on a little bit of a product rampage lately and they've just released this. Yes, it's the Kia Sportage, which in itself isn't much of a performance sleeper, but this one is a little bit faster. You're looking at the Kia Sportage SX Turbo, the automaker's latest crossover powered by their latest engine. Sportage Turbo, you got it. Sportage's standard engine is a 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder that's right in the same ballpark as its competitors. The engine in this up-level model is not. Rather than stuffing in a big V6, Kia's gone the route of Mazda, Audi, Acura, and others, offering a smaller turbocharged engine designed for maximum performance and fuel economy. Most automakers that offer an up-level engine in this segment just throw in a big, heavy V6. Problem with that being, well, it's big and heavy, so it's sort of always using more fuel all the time. By using a small displacement turbocharged engine like this one, you've got all that power available, but while you're cruising or driving gently, it's just a little four-cylinder engine. So ultimately, in the case of this Sportage Turbo, you've got mounds and mounds of low and mid-range torque. In fact, this performs as well as, if not better than any competitor's V6, but also gives you the ability to get really good highway cruising mileage, and ultimately, it's all up to your right foot. With just two liters of displacement backed by direct injection and an intercooled turbocharger output is rated at 260 horsepower and 270 pounds of torque. These figures represent tremendous specific output and also translate into very big performance while allowing drivers to get very reasonable mileage when they're gentle. Best of all, Kia's new turbo engine doesn't need expensive high-octane gas like those pricey premium models, and it's as quiet, smooth, and refined as anything out of Germany or Japan. Very, very impressive indeed. So, what's it like driving a Korean crossover U with a little beast of an engine? Well, in a word, fun. The engine and six-speed automatic work well together for excellent responsiveness, and standing on the rightmost pedal almost instantly summons up a potent surge of forward thrust. The kids will ask you to do it over and over again, and passing and merging power are nearly startling. Engineers even tweaked the handling to make the Sportage SX Turbo even sportier with tighter, heavier steering and suspension modifications. Add in positive and precise brake pedal feel and all-wheel drive traction, and it's actually easy to forget you aren't in a little sports car. The SX Turbo is one of the most responsive and locked-down feeling crossovers going when drivers push it a little. It's all taken in from a nicely assembled interior with all the standard crossover SUV stuff on board. The tester got iPod and USB hookups, two power outlets, a two-pane sunroof, push-button start, and even a heated and chilled power driver's seat. There's a Bluetooth phone interface with Bluetooth streaming audio for wireless music playback and a navigation system that even speaks Spanish. In the back, a cargo hold offers easy access, an underfloor storage tray, and a cover to keep your gear away from prying eyeballs. And with a small turning circle and easy to drive character, the Sportage is as easy to live with as a family sedan. With hill descent control and a locking mode for the all-wheel drive system, you can even do a little mudslinging if you like. On the road, ride quality is generally good, though noise levels proved a little above average at speed or on rough surfaces. Other complaints included poor rearward lane change visibility and limited headroom up front for taller drivers. All right, so you can probably lower your seat and find adequate headroom unless you're really vertically gifted. But the thing is, if your head fries itself up around here, this piece is gonna sort of chew into your personal space and that's a bit of a problem if you're particularly tall or you like to be high while you drive in the seat height-wise. But in all, this is a great looking, capable, and well-equipped little ute with surprising levels of performance and a fantastic powertrain. Mileage, my overall average during the course of a 2,000 kilometer test drive landed just over 11 liters per 100 kilometers, with highway cruising seeing that figure drop to around 10. That's not bad at all, but these figures should improve as the engine collects some miles and break in, and you'll also get better results if you've got a lighter foot than I do. So then, check out the Sportage SX Turbo if you're after a versatile, efficient family crossover that's also a closet speed freak. Or if you want to own about the biggest performance surprise Korea's built to date. Pricing for this top-line tester with all the toys starts from 37, and the standard Sportage comes in from under 22. Thanks for watching.